This is a nice, honest example of a Sharps pepper box pistol, and it's right here on Rare Collectibles TV. This one was manufactured probably between 1859 and 1874. They made many thousands of these. This one is a Model 1A pistol. It's a 30 caliber four shot, what we call pepper box pistol. It was a rim fire cartridge and it's got a three inch barrel. So let's take a look at this. Obviously, Sharp's Manufacturing Company was very popular before, during, and after the Civil War. They made a number of different kinds of makes and models of guns, including obviously the Sharps rifles and the Sharps carbines, which they were very famous for during the Civil War. Obviously, you know, the Berdan sharpshooters used the Sharps rifles, um, and other units were really fond of the Sharps. Um, this one is manufactured by Sharps. It's one of their smaller pocket sized pistols, if you want. This is a 1A pocket pistol. So let's take a look at it now. It's got a really nice little look to it. It's got like a standing breech. It's a four shot pepper box, right? And the interesting uh, characteristic of this pistol was the, the earlier types of pepper box had a round cylinder typically, which revolved, right? And so it would revolve and it was kind of called a bar hammer pepper box pistol. So the percussion hammer would strike on the top of the barrel as the barrel revolved. This was a little bit re revolutionary because it had a rotating firing pin, which kind of put it, set it aside from those older type pepper box from the 1840s and the 1850s. Um, so this was kind of a little bit of a revolutionary gun. Um, you would load it by sliding. There's a button on the bottom and you would push the button and slide the barrel forward. You would load your rounds into the barrel this way. And then it's gonna be really hard to see, but this, this hammer right here, when you pull the hammer, the firing pin would actually rotate um, to strike each barrel, okay? So you had four shots. Obviously, this was used for personal protection. Uh, this was probably an early concealed carry piece, if you will. Um, it was small, it was effective, and instead of the typical derringers, the per percussion derringers uh, that we also have up on the website, by the way, this had, you had four times, you had four shots to make it count instead of that one shot, uh, which was typically the make it or break it moment for you um, back in the day. So it had four shots. Um, it's got a really nice look to it. It's honest. It's a not super high condition, but it's not beat, you know? It has, uh, it has the Sharps Company Philadelphia um, stamp on the frame, as you can see. These grips are, it's really hard to tell. Um, I haven't looked at them too, but they're either Bakelite or wood, but they have beautiful checkering. They have beautiful checkering on both sides. Usually you find these and the grips are chipped. It was like the weak link for these guns. They were chipped, they were cracked, um, they were hit, they were dropped, and the grips are really, uh, it's really nice to see an, uh, an example with the, the grips totally intact with no chips, cracks, or bangs. Um, on the bottom of the uh, bottom strap, it's serial number 2174. It's a pretty four digit serial number, so it's a, probably a pretty early one, okay? Four digit, could be, could be first, second year of production. Um, you would have to research that further to see which actually year this was, this was actually manufactured in. Um, action works flawlessly. As you can see, the firing pin rotates the way it should. I've had a lot of these over the years and that's what the collectors look for. They look and say, does the firing pin rotate? And a lot of them don't, okay? And uh, I really don't know anybody who fixes them. So it's nice to have one, an all working example. Obviously, this is an antique pistol. Please do not try to go out and use this. Um, it's uh, sold strictly for its historical significance only. We don't encourage anybody to ever try to fire these weapons. Um, the barrel is like kind of plumb, I would say. Might need a little bit of very light steel wool and 4 out oil. I haven't tried to clean this or anything. We're just presenting these exactly how we found them. But it's got like a, a nice pleasant plumb patina on the barrels. Um, a little tiny bit of scaling, but nothing really bad. The other side of the, uh, the frame also is Mark Sharps, as you can see on the other side. Um, 
brass frame. Looks like it has some silver plating left on it. Just a nice, honest example. So overall, this is a really nice example of the Sharps pepper box pistol, you know, 1850s, 1860s period, used in the Civil War, used by gamblers, used as personal protection. Just a really nice, solid example. Great grips, nice color, excellent operational, and just a very, very nice example. Available right now at Rare Collectibles TV. This is item M1335, a Sharps pepper box pistol for only $795. Again, that's item M1335, a Sharps pepper box pistol for the collector friendly price of just $795.